Hello everyone, can you solve this basic math question? Here we have this question in the middle of the screen. We have 3 plus 3 divided by 3 and we have 3 plus 3 inside parentheses. And here is maybe the main question. Where are you good at school? Can you solve this question? Here we have three options. We have option A, we have option B and we have option C. So right now this is up to you. You can easily solve this question. Write your option down into the comment section. Write your solution down in the comment section and in a few seconds we will check our answers. Okay, here is our question. And a lot of students may be saying, okay, Mr. Let's try from left to right. For example, we have 3 plus 3 right here equal to 6. The next thing we have this division by 3. So let's rewrite it. Division by 3 and we have 3 plus 3. Once more from left to right we have division. So 6 divided by 3 equal to 2 and 3 plus 3 equal to 6. So we have 2 times 6 which is equal to which is equal to 12. And a lot of students may be saying, okay, we're going from left to right. And the correct answer is, is option C. We just go from left to right. We just solve this question absolutely randomly because we learned that we need to go from left to right. But uh, here is incorrect approach because we need to know about order of operation. It looks like that, that we should go from left to right. But if you look closely, right here we have addition. This is first mathematical operator. Right here we have division. This is the second mathematical operator. Right here we have multiplication in terms of like basic uh, order of operation. We are talking about not implicit multiplication, but multiplication. Right now let's talk about that. And the next thing we have right here, we have addition with parentheses, so something like that. Yeah, we have right here addition, division, we have multiplication, we have addition inside parentheses. So as you can see, we have a lot of, a lot, a bunch of mathematical operations. And we need to know what is the correct order to perform this mathematical operator because obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer right so for example we say okay let's start for example with this with this division at first we have one answer if we start with addition we have answer c we have option c we have 12 if we start with with addition right here right and when we say correct answer uh, correct uh, start beginning is uh, like from these parentheses we have completely different answer. I don't know exactly what answer, but we have completely different answer. And here is the main thing. Whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? And after this step, I'm going to erase all of this stuff right here because right now we are going to look at this thing which is called order of operation. And then we can easily say, okay, right now we know order of operations and we can easily solve the question correctly because in terms of math, we are interested in a correct answer. We are not interested in random answer. We are not interested in approximately answer we can easily say okay 100% correct answer is 3 6 12 or whatever yeah so right now let's look closely at this order of operation on the right side we have quick like checklist so this letter stands for something I'm going to explain you mm, what it stands for like in a few seconds okay so we're talking about a quick checklist in terms of priority we're going from left to right so from left side to right side so it means that letter P had the highest priority because we are talking about we are talking about parentheses. So in terms of letter P, letter P stands for parentheses. And we are talking about these squiggly brackets. It can it can be happened like. And we are talking about this this type of brackets in terms of bad mass people use this type of bracket. But uh, the meaning is absolutely the same. We are talking about group and symbols. So group and symbols has the highest priority. So we are talking about we are talking about uh, letter P stands for parentheses. Letter E stands for exponents. So we are talking about, let me change my pen, let me change my pen real quick. So we're talking about powers. Basically, E stands for power. So for example, we have 2 to the power 5. So we need to raise this 5 to the power, we need to raise this 2 to the power 5. Okay, after parentheses, we need to look at our power. So for example, we have 2, 3, 4 right here, like cube, 4th power, 5th power, we need to raise, okay? And we are not talking about only like 5, we are talking about like huge powers, it can be 2 to the power 100. So every time we have powers, we need to solve this uh, exponents part before M and D. What, what M and D stands for? M and D stands for multiplication and division, all right? So let me change my pen. So M stands for multiplication, D stands for, D stands for division. All right, so we're talking about one common group because a lot of students might be saying, "Hey, Mister, we need to, we need to, like, multiply first, then divide." No, this is one common group, and this is like uh, these elements have the same priority. Multiplication division had the same priority, and we need to look at it in a perspective from left to right. So, if we have, for example, two divided by two times three or something like that, we need to scan what is the first sign from left to right. In this case, the first sign is division, so we need to divide it first. Or we are talking about 
we're talking about 2 times 3 divided by 2, then right now the first sign from left to right is this multiplication, all right? So M and D, the server multiplication division group. And the last thing is A addition as subtraction. The basic one right here, you don't need order of operation because this is like the easiest one to solve this addition and subtraction part. Okay, a few words about this PEMDAS. I hope you understand it. And right now let's scan, let's try to solve this question in perspective of this PEMDAS. We have it on the right side, so everything is great. Right now, here we have our question and how we solve this type of question. Let me just erase uh, this stuff on the top right here because we're going to mention, we're going to underline what elements from this one we have in our question, all right? So take a look closely. The first sign is, the first step is uh, parentheses, okay? Letter P stands for parentheses. Right now we need to scan where do we have grouping elements, like where do we have these parentheses? And let me change my, let me change my pen real quick and let's, for example, mention, let's underline our grouping elements. Parentheses we have right here. So this is our first step. According to PEMDAS, we need to start from this uh, parentheses. So our first step is to add 3 plus 3. Very basic. Yeah? So right now let's, let's do this. So as a result, the same beginning. So we have 3 plus 3 divided by 3. And we have times uh, right here. We have 3 plus 3 equal to, equal to, equal to 6. All right, so I write this expression like that in parentheses, but right now, if we look closely, 6 uh, is like basic constant. We can easily actually get rid of these parentheses because we have only 6 inside of it. So we can actually get rid of these, of these parentheses. And a lot of students might be saying, hey, mister, this is like implicit multiplication. We don't have a multiplication sign right here. We don't have a dot. We don't have a multiplication sign right here. So this is a multi implicit multiplication. So we are talking about, we're talking about higher priority. So we are talking about, a lot of students might be saying, we're talking about not PEMDAS, but PEMDAS, all right? This are a order of operation in terms of implicit multiplication, all right? And a few words about it. Okay, I agree with it, but PEMDAS, this is like a special case of PEMDAS order of operation. PEMDAS order of operation, uh, people can easily use in, in computer engineering, in uh, like maybe they want to learn it, and uh, maybe they need uh, this order of operation on their on their work, on their job, in computer science. PEMDAS is a special case of PEMDAS order of operation. In 90%, in uh, 90 or 95% people use PEMDAS order of operation, but PEMDAS, this is also like uh, this order of operation also takes place because this is order of operation and we, we need to talk about implicit multiplication but in 90% we are talking about basic basic school knowledge, basic thing and 90% of students, 90% of people on earth learn this PEMDAS order of operation. But people who, who learn like computer engineering, they need it on their work, also can use the thing with implicit multiplication, okay? So right now we actually get, uh, can get rid of these parentheses and as a result we can easily write it as 3 plus 3 divided by 3 and times times 6. So if you want to write this question with implicit multiplication, so if you want to mention the implicit multiplication, then you need to put parentheses right here, okay? If you want to divide this 3 by the whole product, if you want to mention that you need to divide it, you need to put brackets right here, right? This is extremely important moment because uh, some uh, people, you know, forget about this. Some people's and don't write these parentheses, but you you need it if you want to, if you want to mention, if you want to underline this implicit multiplication, just put parentheses, okay? Then you say, okay, I want to divide this three by the whole entire product, all right? Right here we don't have parentheses, so it means that we are going in a strict order from left to right, and we solve this question according to, according to basic order of operation. Okay, so I hope you understand this step. I hope you uh, understand this moment when we can talk about PEMDAS and when we don't talk about PEMDAS because this is extremely important. Think a lot of students arguing with each other. Okay, right here implicit multiplication. Now we need to we need to divide this, we need to multiply 3 times this 6 at first because we have implicit multiplication. Okay, when you have, uh, when you want to divide this 3 by the whole product, just put parentheses and everything will be okay. You say, okay, I want to divide this 3 by the whole entire product. In a modern calculator, uh, okay, there are a lot of calculators that use like uh, PEMDAS, PEMDAS, but with one really interesting moment, when you plug in this question in PEMDAS calculator, calculator when you uh, input the whole entire problem, calculator when you type uh, equal sign, calculator write the thing, I write parentheses, 
and it means the calculator say, okay, mister, when you want to divide, you need to put brackets, all right? So let me just erase all of this stuff, and I hope you understand why we don't use Pejim does. Pejim does, it's like a special case. So you need to mention, I want to divide it, I need to put parentheses. Okay, so I don't want to talk about Pejim does. I hope you understand my thoughts, like a quick thought about this Pejim does. Here we have Pejim does, here we have our expression. So right now, let's continue. The next thing is E stands for exponent. So as you can see, we need to scan where do we have these powers, like phi, 100, or whatever. In our case, we don't have powers when we have, for example, 3 to the power 2 right here. Here next we need to we need to raise this three to the power two. In our case we don't have it, so let's move forward to the next step. So let me just just cancel this part. The next step is M and D part, and as I told before, this is one one common group. So don't don't be scared, don't be confused about it, because a lot of students say, okay, multiplication first. Now we need to multiply, but M and D have the same priority. So we need to scan where do we have this type of expression. So let's underline where do we have division and multiplication part. Let's look at it. We have division part right here, so we need this, and we have multiplication part right here, so we need this. So our next step is to evaluate this expression. So let's use imaginary brackets like something like that. This is our next step, is to evaluate this expression. We have division multiplication part, and a lot of students might be saying, okay, multiplication first because M is before D, but as I told before, it doesn't matter because right here we need to scan what is the first sign from left to right. Let's do this right now. So the first sign from left to right is obviously this division. So we need to divide 3 divided by 3. So as a result, we have 3 plus 3 divided by 3 equal to 1, and we have times times 6. All right. So as you can see right here, we have 1 right here, and we multiply it by 6. As a result, don't forget about this underline, because we are talking about multiplication, we need to complete this group, and we need to multiply 1 times 6. As a result, I hope everyone knows that this is equal to 1 times 6 equal to equal to 6. So let's look closely right here. Let's, let's mention that we complete multiplication part, we complete division part. All right, so as you can see, we move forward to the last step. The last step is addition subtraction. This is obviously the easiest one because addition, everyone can add it uh, without a calculator. But as you can see, we have addition, so we need to mention that we have addition. Moreover, we don't have we don't have subtraction, so we need to, we need to reject it. So as a result, our final answer is we have nine. And this looks like our answer. Yeah, we are talking about parentheses first. We have six. The next thing, division three divided by three equal to one, and one times six equal to Six. So as a result, our correct answer is nine. We are talking about this PEMDAS order, PEMDAS order of operation. And I hope you understand it. Let's look closely. What do we have right here in our, in our this part? We have we have nine. Yeah, we have it. And our correct answer is, is nine. Yeah, I hope you understand my thoughts about it. I hope you understand why nine is a correct answer. But as you can see in the previous, uh, in a few few minutes ago, we solved this question and we said the correct answer is C, but right now we know everything about order of operations, so our correct answer is, let's write that, our correct answer is B, we have, we have 9, all right? So this is my explanation to this question, I really hope you understand it, I really hope you enjoy it, here is, you can, uh, you can see once more this, uh, this uh, solution to this question, parentheses, a division, multiplication, and addition, okay? We don't have exponents, we don't have subtraction, so uh, according to this checklist, we solve this question absolutely Correct. Yeah, in 90% this is a correct answer, but maybe people use Pejim does, because it depends on what country you're in. If you use Pejim does, you need to solve it according to Pejim does order of operation. But as I told before, this is the old one, and this is like a special case of this Pem does. We are talking about not like computer engineering, we are talking about basic things, we are talking about basic math problems, so the correct answer is, is Pem does in our case. So thank you everyone for your time. I really hope you understand it. I really hope you enjoy it. Wish you all the best. You can also write your question down into the comment section. Write your notes about this question down into the comment section. And see you in the next videos. I really hope you'll enjoy it. Have a great day.